Long ago, in the beautiful kingdom of Hyrule, surrounded by mountains and forests, legends told of an omnipotent and om omniscient golden power that resided in a hidden land. Many people aggressively sought to enter the hidden golden land. But no one ever returned. One day, evil power began to flow from the golden land. So the king commanded seven wise men to seal the gate to a land of the golden power. That seal should have remained for all time. But when these events were obscured by the mists of time and became legend, A mysterious wizard known as Aganim came to Hyrule to release the seal. He eliminated the good king of Hyrule. Not dinner. <laughs> Through evil magic, he began to make descendants of the seven wise men vanish. One after another. And the time of destiny for Princess Zelda is drawing near. I freaking suck at this game. Oh, <laughs> hey everyone. Oh, I'm Super Mario Sonic Lover, and welcome. I am your number 1995. I am the hero of time. Pa <laughs> apparently, and uh, welcome to Legend of Zelda: Link to the Past. Yeah, um, <laughs> this is gonna get interesting because I've actually never finished this game, um, as you can probably never tell from the. I. And um, okay, who? What should we name this? Zelda. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Nah, that's boring. Ma <laughs> the majority. No, no, Scrappy, Scrappy. Mm. Oh, gosh, darn it. <laughs> do it, do mm. it. Oh, no, let's see if I can do this. N nah, it's not gonna fit, is it? What are you trying to say? You're him. Yeah. Crap. You're. No, no, no. Uh, <laughs> okay, no, I messed up. <laughs> it's just scrappy. It's just funnier. Uh, there's not even enough room for scrap. Oh, wow. I mean, I guess it's not as oh, we can fit it. We can fit it. It's one P, though. Scrapey? I'll do. I'll have to do. Okay. Oh, no, no. That's a hyphen. Oh. Uh, erase player. Erase grab hyphen. <laughs> what the heck is that sound? Oh no, no there's more. Do you want to make lowercase? Yeah, yeah. Wait, what the sound when you um was like, erased rrr, 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 it? Yeah. That's the death sound. Oh, there you go. Oh, okay, I'm just end up like that. Okay. <laughs> Help me! Please help me! I am a prisoner in the dungeon of the castle. My name is Zelda. The wizard Aganim has done something to the other missing girls. Now only I remain. Aganim has seized control of the castle. Is now trying to take, uh, trying to open the seven wise men's seal. 
I am in the dungeon of the castle. Open up the world to Kingdom Hearts. Please help me. That was good, Jason, but I'd like you to do it for British accent. I can't. Oh, uh, man. You wanna do this guy? Oh, oh too late. Crap, I'm going there. Bye. Okay, <laughs> bye. So, Link. Hey, you know, this playthrough in Scrappy is officially voicing Link. Oh, dang that. Oh, wait, that means I don't have to do anything. Yeah, boy. Yeah, so that means yeah. Link's nightcap is actually just his, his day cap, also. Yeah. You can, like. Torches and dark. So yeah, this is basically like forget what Zelda 2 did and with all the 2D stuff. Oh uh, yeah, that's a map. Um, like this goes back to how Zelda 1 worked, where it's a big like overhead game. Um, there's a lot of different secrets you can find, and you know it's a very logical step up from that game. Like um, you can actually move a lot more freely. The when we get to the sword mechanics. Um, it feels a lot more natural to fight enemies and all that. And, yeah, as we'll probably be talking about it later on, I can definitely see a great game here, but, you know, I get lost way too often. Yeah, that's the main pro- I never- we never- we, I, mean, we were, I was talking with, with um, Harry about this earlier, actually, and the reason why we never beat it is because we got lost trying to get to several of the dungeons. Yeah, and I wanted to, like- semi complete the game as well like get the heart pieces and all that and you know i just i was refusing to go to a guide yeah help me hurry up asshole yeah <laughs> how come Not you can't... you're good <laughs> how come she can't just tell her guards to let him pa let link pass i think i think they're i think they might be just controlled by a Ganem. I, 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 uh, pronounce it Aghanim. I thought it was Aghanim. Aghanim? <laughs> I never heard that. Or how about Jerry? <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> you know what, that's a reference to, yay. Yeah, I know, I know. Oh, has anybody seen the awesome video for this? Uh, yes. This crap. I didn't want you involved in this, oh. Keep my sword, sword and I shield just... and listen. You can focus power in the blade, hold the B button, then release it using the secret technique handed down by our people. Scrap, you can do it. Save the princess. Something, something else. Zelda is your canon love what is interest. She? What is she? What is she? My sister? Hey, can I put her in her? What's it? Uh, yeah, so instead of like, like doing a stab in this game, you do like a little swipe. And it's a lot more reliable. Yeah, the, way, the range is wider. And just keep in mind, he does swing towards the right. Yeah. Or his right. Right. Man, this is a we also get froze, and we get um. Oh crap! So we so go ahead, Scrappy. This is such a graphical step up from Zelda one and two. Oh yeah, definitely. Like this game does. Yeah, the jump from the, yeah the jump from NES to Super Nintendo, it it really really shows. Yeah, a lot of like games like uh, a lot of the Nintendo's like big hit franchises really like got like the benefit from the next generation or whatever. Hmm. Like. This, like this rain, like the rain, the music stepped up too. Yeah. Yeah, you know, like, like and I also appreciate its um, you know, like its sense of like um, open worlds for you to to go through. Yeah. Like like, even though me and Scrap, me and Harry, sorry, our um, our problem with the game is we got lost because there's no sense of direction. At the same time, it's. Cool, really amazing what they were able to do back then with this kind of thing. Yeah, and uh, I do like how the world itself is interesting to uh, explore on like Zelda 1, because it was literally just like the same, similar looking areas, just different color palettes half the time, and uh, nothing really stood out that much. In this game, like, you can you can tell that there's like supposed to be a big w world here, and you know, I think it's it's definitely a lot more believable now. I think well, it also helps by the benefit of having landmarks. Yeah. Well, you see and Harry, the, the best. First... It... Go ahead. What? You see, Harry, the first Zelda was supposed to be kind of like in a post-apocalyptic high rule, so yeah, you told Zelda was the first Fallout. Was that even established back then, though? Probably not. Because like nowadays, we know we have like downfall timeline. And Zelda 1 is, like, at the point where, 
Like, everything kind of just... Yeah, but, yeah, this is, like, Link loses, and it's like... Is this, like, the first game after Link loses? I think. Yeah, that that, that one makes sense, because, um... You know, there's, there's... Well, there's Beast Ganon, there's... I think in the GBA version, the Seven Wise Men are changed into the uh, Sages and Zelda or whatever. Um, but, yeah, like... When you look at it, this is very clearly a... It wasn't a sequel at this point, but in terms of, like, canon timeline, it was, it's clearly a sequel to Ocarina of Time in that sense. Yeah. By the way, I was talking about the music. I love the castle theme. It is really good, yeah. Like, the remix, they especially they gave it in, like, um... In, um... What's it called? In Link Between Worlds, which it, it, that that's one of my that's one of my favorite renditions. Uh, the, no, no joke. One of my favorite pieces of music in this franchise is the um is l the low roll theme. Low roll existed in this game. Dark world. Dark world. It's technically the same same, si same idea, yeah, but I don't think it's the same place. Yeah, because it's because um, Wind between worlds is supposed to be a reimagining, I think. Yeah. Loosely, and I, loosely a sequel. In a better reimagining. Yeah. No, I think a lot, a lot, yeah. a lot of people share that sentiment. I think. Like. Shh. Don't criticize any Super NES games, Harry. Oh no, nah, that's bad. Like, these are clearly like untouchable masterpieces. <laughs> also, the game story is totally not ripped off in Ocarina of Time. Uh. <laughs> No one uh, played Zelda before the N64, Jason, didn't you know that? I think of this <laughs> game, like, this series, though, is, like, um, a lot of the time, you start the games, like, get three MacGuffins or whatever, then you get a master, the Master Sword, do, like, five or so more dungeons, fight Ganon. To restore the Master Sword power or whatever, usually. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and then, and then, and then fight Ganon ah! and beat the game. <laughs> so. Are you laughing at the guy falling? Yes, I'm terrible. <laughs> a little offbeat humor that Zelda the games have that I like. Also- Oh yeah, yeah, another mechanic this game brought back, is her brought, is what you what you saw him doing, is picking up and throwing stuff. And it's actually stronger than uh, our regular sword we have now, so... I don't know, if, I think it's like the same, uh, like, power level, or whatever you want to call it, as the spin attack, because that does double the damage. Yeah, the spin attack is, is yeah, double damage, and but it's, it's... just a little- or hit with, because like um, you may notice that like as he was trying to hit that guy with the sword pointing out, he got not, and there was a little push. Yeah. That's kind of one thing I kind of don't like more or less, but mm. it's the pushback because sometimes it makes hitting in guys, these guys especially, and the guys who have to try it later on, a little mm. tricky. Right. Yeah. So like, you have to be like above them basically, or something like that. Yeah. All right. Oh, wrong gun. Oh, yeah. Um, when we get to the overworld, I don't know if you missed game has. Map! Yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to remember, like, the controls on this, because it's been a while. How do I exit? Uh, oh. Why is that? It's just, yeah, why is your sub weapon, right? Yep. I'm using the classic controller, by the way. <laughs> by the way, you may notice that the world pauses when you go up and down stairs. Yep. <laughs> I could make a game grounds for Evans, but I don't want to. <laughs> yeah, and I will say, like, the, the e balls. A enemies in this game, like, I do like how, unlike Zelda 1, they, you can see they have, like, a clear pattern now, whereas they kind of had one in Zelda 1, but because, like, uh, it was the NES, and you could didn't have a lot to work with there, a lot of the time it just seemed like they just kind of zipped around all over the place and weren't very easy to read, so. Erratic. They're, yeah, very erratic, so I... I like that you can actually oh, see what they're doing. Like, ow! Y'all, no, just climb the freaking wall. <laughs> How do you climb a wall? Magic. She has it. She has know, this is early Zelda's, I guess. No, what actually, is this doing? is the downfall timeline. What? What is the Zelda? Hmm. Are these dark nuts? No, no, these are, um... Alright, you know what? 
Yeah. <laughs> I was yeah, gonna say one fact. Pause. Um, Link's not wearing pants in this game. He also has pink hair. For some reason. Practical limitation. For the pants or for the hair? The hair. <laughs> Thank you, Scrap. Scrappy, <laughs> <laughs> uh. listen carefully. I fear the worst for my father. Your father's dead, Zelda. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, yeah, this is gonna be really funny, actually. Think about it. This is a good idea, and I love to see him just Scrappy talking <laughs> for, the, for like. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. In the GBA version, for some reason, they just gave Link Grun, uh, young Link grunts. Ta -ta 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 -ta. And it's crunched in on Game Boy too. <laughs> GBA was good at many things, but sound quality was not one of them. Mm. Sound quality in turn, yeah, in, yeah, in terms of remakes, when it's original stuff like the Pokemon Mystery games, that's when it sticks <laughs> out. Mm. What was I gonna say? The I wish. Hmm. I think that the problem with sound quality is like, um, it's something to do with like the GBA's like hardware, like, um, like sound, the sound quality and music and all that is, um, takes up a lot of space what? in the cartridge or whatever. Or something like that. I, I, don't, I don't know exactly how, um, how it works, but I heard something about that through, um, one of Exo's, Exo Paradigm Gamers videos. I think Sony used. I think Sony used to provide the sound chips for Nintendo what? stuff, but mm. once by the time Game Boy Advance was already de put into development, Sony was making their own hardware, so Nintendo didn't want it. Yeah. Or they Sony wasn't offering it. I don't know. On another note, I would like to see Zelda be like a party member for Link in more games. Yeah, like my favorite version of um, Zelda in that guard is at is Spirit Tracks. She feels like an actual character in that game. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, she's a bit. Yeah, she's very. What's the word? Sassy? Musical. <laughs> she, uh, she's, she's also. Uh, I can't forget the word. Hmm. She could be kind of. Oh. <clears throat> yeah. She can... on, cat on the table, do not go near my, my food. Yeah. She can be <laughs> what? Like, she, like, like she's like. Kind of like a prince. She's she really is like a princess. Mm -hmm -hmm. All right. So now we have to use the uh, lantern because that would help. I should push it. Yeah, but yeah, but you have to push on this wall first. Yeah. Over side. Yeah. So is Zelda helping you push, or is she just watching? She probably... well, you're, just push well, you're, you're pushing with your shield, so. Mm. I was expecting. I was waiting for like an animation. Mm. Scrappy, is it dark in there? Psst. Mm. Those don't last forever, by the way. The lanterns are gonna go out. Link prefers the was... dark. Mm. So I was gonna say this was the dark. If this was the um, spirit track, Zelda should be freaking out inside the the mice. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, uh, the mice are annoying in in those games. Like, uh, like one of the first things you have to do in Phantom Hourglass is try and get a um a um key from like a rat or something, and it's really annoying. Uh. Does Zelda have a cape on her dress? Uh, it kind of looks like it actually. Probably. Think, oh god. I think I think Link to the Past Maiden Zelda is my favorite of the classic Zelda designs. Hmm. She had like a red dress in um in the original game, didn't she? Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Red dress and in some art a hat. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. Scrappy, I get I take it you don't like snakes. <laughs> yeah! Yeah! I like snakes when they're in cages. <laughs> <laughs> I, I like the snakes in Crash 3 because they just wander in like a straight line. <laughs> they have the lamest death animation. They just like get fl get sent flying. No, they have the lamest kill animation for Crash. Oh, uh -huh. it's a regular death animation. Just, whoa! Like you, you expect something funny, but then it's just an angel. Yeah. 
It happens. Be very careful, Scrappy. I think they. I'm trying to remember. Did someone do like a fan dub for this game? I wouldn't be surprised. I think they actually got like a professional anime actress to do Zelda and some fan dub for Zelda. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Never doubt fandoms uh, when they can do that kind of stuff. Oh yeah, yeah. Fandoms. That video that Lewis showed me where they got you got the original Professor Oak to do a thing. Mm. Man, good thing that lantern oil doesn't run out. I don't think you have. I think you ought to get off the phone before I start yelling. We're recording! What in the heck? What's going on? What was. Yeah, what is going on? Uh, my mom. Ah. No, good man, there's no monkey around here to take your lantern. Am I missing something? Do you want to insinuate something? Try, no, Princess. Missing? Oh, right, right. <laughs> Actually, wait, um, I'm, I, I don't, because I wasn't around for Zelda 2, and for you guys, um, did Scrappy say what kind of Zelda games he did play? I don't remember, honestly. <laughs> Harry's tuned out that memory all i remember uh, uh, all i remember was just like dying a lot and just die ah. <laughs> all right what what uh why don't you answer it <laughs> <sighs> answer scrub okay i played four swords <laughs> okay that it well, let me rephrase that i played and beaten four swords um okay i owned a I own that special uh, collector's collector's edition collection on the GameCube that had the Wind Waker demo. So I tried every game there. So it's Zelda One, Zelda Two, Ocarina of Time, and Majora's Mask. Oh, the okay. uh, GameCube collection. That thing was probably probably is very expensive now, and I just sold it. Oh wow! Ah. I I still own it. <laughs> I don't have that. Uh... Oh no. Pull down the wrong one. I think I can. Wrong lever. Wrong lever. I think Why the. Why do you even have that lever? <laughs> yeah. I think the um, uh, Zelda Collector's Edition was supposed to come with uh, game tubes, but don't quote me on that. Because I don't. It did get packaged with a few. Right, right. I don't remember how I got it's mine. How one... Sorry, but it's amazing how one disc, like. Like pretty early on in like video games kind of time, I guess to say if, to say had like five games built on. Yeah. Uh, collector's edition like uh, having those four games and like a Wind Waker demo is pretty impressive. Mm. Blah blah blah. Get the ding ding ding. ding. I'm sure Zelda will be safe here Scrappy. forever. Scrappy, do you understand what I just told you? Yeah! Hiya! Is that a yes or a no? I'll burn the carpet. So yeah, now we're officially op out in the open world. So, yeah, this is where things are probably going to get more interesting. If you hit, I believe, select, was it? I think, uh... No, which one was the map? X. There you go, and hit again. Yep. There you go. Uh, now you know where you're going. One big map. Yep. <laughs> so you actually, you have a bad sense of direction. Like, you can see landmarks and stuff now, so that's nice. Yeah, that's and the map actually marks where you've been. Or is that where you are? Yeah. It's very hard to miss. <laughs> and I'll, I'll try to, uh, like, 100% this game as much as possible. Like, I want to at least get all the heart pieces. But, we'll see. That's why we have a scrappy guide. Yep. There he's doing the masochist run again. Cause like, this is one of those LPs where it wasn't even supposed to be a collab thing, but I just needed to get this done. Cause I've been postponing this for like a year now. And uh, yeah, I needed like s at least one of these guys to guide me. <laughs> Cause this is just getting silly. Yeah. 
I was kind of hesitant to even join this, actually. Oh, yeah, the Swordsman Tower. You can pay him some rupees in there, and he'll actually give you a hint on where to go. Yeah. Don't need to do that right now, though. But for some reason, he didn't really help me. Yeah, no, not me neither, to be honest. Oh, well. So, this is the first game to have cuckoos. And they, just like in the other games, you hurt them too much, they go try, they go flying after you, and it's not nice. You want to show that off? Uh, not now, but at some point, I guess. Oh, it's you, Scrap. I can't do an old woman's voice. <laughs> what? Master Sword? <laughs> I, just have, I just want to hear Scrap be, like, randomly talking normally just to describe stuff going on, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> Take now, scrap. Take care now, scrappy. Scrappy dude. So I feel like everybody scrappy's going, bye, grandma. I'll be right back. The dogs have spoken. And thus, I will replace the voice. Ja! <laughs> oh, man. All right, this oh, yeah, I remember this. Oh, yeah. Oh, no, yeah, go down. Okay. I think he's downstairs. Yeah. It's like a bunch of treasure or something. Yep. And there's a cracked wall here, but we can't do anything. Oh, that's where he is. I think he's behind that wall. Don't think we can really do anything right now, though. Alright, uh... Hmm. You have to carefully push these blocks. Yeah. Um... I think that... I think... Oh, no. I think I know which one. Um, the one top right of that chest you're next to. Push it down. This way? Yeah. Push that oh, one right. Oh, right, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Push that one down. Push that one. Yeah. Well, we'll we can't get all the chests, but right you know, on our first pass. But right. We'll get the next because you can only push them once. Okay. <sighs> I like the animation when you're going downstairs, though. Yeah, that's nice. All right. Let's see. Um. Push that down. Move up. Push hmm. the right one. Yeah, the right one here down. I'm back. I, I down. mean, here. Yeah. Push down and left. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Now go to the other side of that chest. Yeah, I see what to do. Yeah. Push the left. There you go. I forget what's Long the right. Our plate of food. <laughs> what's the pricing of rupees again? Uh, green one, blue five, red twenty. I think. Or is it ten? I f it's nor it's normally twenty. Uh, cause normally yellow is ten. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I know in the later games is purple rupees for fifty. Um, orange rupees were a hundred and silver were two hundred. Yeah, 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 that's right. How do you have a silver gemstone? How do you have a green emerald? Sorry, how do you have a yellow emerald? <laughs> I mean, emeralds can be multiple colors. Yeah. Yeah. Uh... People of the internet will say bye to my mom. Bye, Jason. Bye. 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 My mom says bye, internet. <laughs> bombs. Now we got bombs. Oh yeah, now we can open the crack wall. One day she just can't get rid of a bomb. That looks suspicious. Yep. It, you're supposed to bomb it. <laughs> Bomb. Yay. Alright. Yeah, I like how th this game... Like... Every I'll, chest is dramatic. That that too, but... I'll give I'll give credit where credit's due. Like, the, there are, like, actual, like, hints towards secrets and stuff. It's not like Zelda 1 where you just... Ac I don't know, accidentally, like, oh. burn a bush once and then find a secret. Or, you know, just use the map the game came with. Yeah. Cause that, that was... Also, the mirror scheme I mean, put on a weird aspect ratio on, on, we, on we. I don't... Yeah. Hmm. Oh, no. I think you I mean, took... Usually... Oh, yeah, later on in the game, you're going to get more the thief, I, a, a villain, I think. Hmm. Yeah. Oh, yeah, right, go buy a po- wait, run, the first thing you can do is go buy a bottle. Right. 
Also, how about Mook spawning in the grass? <laughs> oh no, that happens now. Dang it. What the heck? What the happened? Yeah, don't talk. You're one man. Hold on, talk to the guy. Talk to the guy. I think I'll still talk to you. Yeah. Oh, well. Uh, yeah, you need it. Yeah, like the most precious thing in this wo in this world of bottles. A magic bottle. <laughs> uh. Oh, by the way, are you gonna play tennis with your fish with your butt with your net later? Uh, you can do that. <laughs> yeah, when you when you're attacking a Ghanim. Oh, right, right. Also, you know, everybody in the game, every every version of spoilers in can uh, in, wait is that do something? Oh yeah, I thought oh. that was something. Uh... Did you spoil the villain, Jason? Well, no, no, no. I didn't say a name. Oh God. Okay. They, they, names. they, 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 well, they, yeah, Aghanim has already been said, so, you know. Okay. Well, I didn't say what, I didn't say anything after that. Or I, I, it's not that much of saying anything after that. Yep. He's Eggman. Um, yes. <laughs> Thanks for spoiling it, Harry. <laughs> You're welcome. Asshole. <laughs> you know what? You know what, you know, you know oh, what I gotta do now? Oh, Harry's right. Um, if you, um, if you, um, when we get to oh, Eganum, if he talks, I have to do it. I have to try to do a Mike Pollock Eggman. Oh my god! This is the sequel to Sonic Mania and Forces. I, I mean prequel, <laughs> prequel rather. It's... Man, well, that's down. I'm down where, um, Chaos actually meant something in Forces. <laughs> uh, I wouldn't. It's a little too expensive, but. Uh, I need. I need. It would be nice to have some health, because I, I was thinking, like, oh, I should catch the uh, fairy, but I don't have the nut yet. You know, how come Zelda doesn't have a cuckoo to do Link's job? <laughs> there, well, you, you can play the giant cuckoo in um, Iron Warriors. Funny funny you mention that, because like, you can, like, make a, a cuckoo swarm in Breath of the Wild just attack, like, a massive enemy, and they just, like, get they get slaughtered. It's amazing. It's the only non-realistic thing in the game. You should meet her at least once. I'm sure you will. Love. Is he trying to hook us up with his daughter? I I wouldn't be surprised. Like it's sort of like that might be. A, is that Marin? Is that Mar is that M Malin's and all that going on actually? I don't. They're not. In the, they didn't get introduced here. Mm. Well, a lot a lot of tra a lot of things from here are established in later games. Yeah. Like Kakariko yeah. Village is like especially like we see this place in the, a lot of the games coming uh, coming up after this. Oh, is this what this is this what Link's Village is called here? Uh -huh. Yeah, you see, like the music is like right from like Ocarina of Time as well, or like rather it came it's from crap. this game. Hmm. You want to hear a story? Okay. <laughs> let, let me tell you a story. There are Zoras. Young whippersnapper. Yeah, Zora's and Zelda one too. And uh, they're host, ugly. Hostile. Makes you wonder what happened though, like between these games. But yeah, I want Scrappy to be Link for this, and he doesn't have to do yeah if he doesn't want to. <laughs> <laughs> All yeah, right. Mario, too. In there. Oh yeah. Huh. Oh. Whoa! Got... Whoa! I didn't know that was a thing. What happened? Did it play a sound when you did that? Yeah, it was like a brr brr brr. It should have been a, it should have been like a mushroom sound. Yeah, that would have been cool. Oh, oh, oh. I just pulled on the Mario thing because I like, because I, low Mario, but <laughs> didn't think it would actually do something. I like to imagine he pulled on the mustache of the painting and then he threw loopies at you to go away. <laughs> Is, oh, don't do that ever again. <laughs> Uh, isn't yeah! it? Please, go get Luigi, please. Uh, I think it'll off, but let's see. Uh, yeah, it's worse. Okay. Yeah. Whoop. Is this another piece of pot? Yay! Yes, it is. Oh yeah, we may as well mention this now. Yeah, the this game introduces pieces of hearts, which you get for uh four of them, and it uh gets turned into a heart container. You get an extra heart. Um, so, yeah. Your health at, at, after each one. Yeah, yeah. 
Oh yeah, fun fact, this is the last Zelda, this is the last 2D Zelda game to release on a console until Four Swords Adventures. Yeah, I can oh, yeah, you're I, right. I can I can believe that, yeah. Nope. Oh wow. Who lets chickens run in their house? Murder house. Psst. <laughs> oh, that's the fee that you need to use the Pegasus boots for. Yep, we'll be getting to that eventually. Okay, um I forget what he gives you. Yeah, I don't remember. I'm hoping I'm not, like, missing anything here, because I really can't remember. <laughs> There's a library up here. Yeah, I- I know we have to go- get- go here later to- when we have the Pegasus boots, but... So we can knock down that book. Yeah. We no, can't climb. Yeah. No, you can't- we can't just get a ladder. Sorry, whenever it was the climbable service, he just does his run walking- running animation. Yeah. Oh, this. Oh, gambling. Oh, I think one of them has the heart piece. Yeah. Okay. Oh, God. okay, guys, I think it's the right. Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. I have a guide. I, let me... I don't know. I, I, I don't think know. it's I know. random. I think it's random. Uh, go right. Just, just stick right for now. Well, I don't... Well, what... It's only... Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> don't. 